Welcome back to Caster's Journey, everybody. So, this one, as we'll remember, is going to follow the main quest of the game, which is... Noretzi's Folly. I'm not going to spoil the quest itself, but I'll give you a little background on the mechanics of it. The beginning part is a 12-piece info dump spread across 12 different characters, ten of whom are going to be randomly selected nobles who are wandering around the map. So we're going to have to find them, talk to them. Sometimes we'll run across, uh, we won't know who to talk to, we'll have to ask other people and they'll tell us. And we just work our way through the story. And after that we'll have some choices to make. Well, I won't spoil any of that, I just figured I'd give you a heads up of what we're getting into. And this one's going to be different than uh, Ragged's Journey. Because we're Imperial, and we're already in Imperial territory. So we're going to jump straight into the recruitment stuff. Anyway, and I will see you in a little bit, once I get to the first village. Okay, here's our first stop in this campaign. Sigora. Uh, I mean, it's a village. There's not much else to say about it. There's, I'm not sure exactly what that's about, what the, um, exclamation mark is about, because it doesn't look like there's any quests here yet. But, so why are we here? I'm going to recruit some new troops, except I can't. Here's how recruiting works. There's notables in each village, each settlement. Well, not castles, but cities and villages. Each notable has six slots. Depending on your relation with them, you can recruit whoever's sitting in whichever in some of those slots. Like this yellow one right here, that's the one I can recruit from. Of course, right now there's nobody to recruit, so we'll have to move on. It doesn't look like anybody has a quest, unfortunately. I'm looking, in case. Nope. So... Let's move on to the next one, and I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so next stop, Kentirian. Somebody actually does have a quest for us. Family Feud. That one's iffy. I always save scum it. I don't think I'm going to do it because I don't want to save scum stuff on camera, and that one gets dicey for, like, if you're not save scumming, it's chance-based. You're trying to talk somebody into not killing someone who killed their family member. And it really is. It's like Fallout 3's um, chance system. You get a percentage chance and you can fail it pretty easy. And again, no soldiers. Great. That, that's pretty common because, you know, common wars. However, I see Regea, Queen well, Empress of the Southern Empire. And she's got an exclamation mark. She's definitely one of the ones you want to look for in the main quest. So, let's go talk to her. And here we are with Empress Regea herself. She says, Now then, come no closer. Forgive me, but one cannot be too cautious. I would ask you for your name. My name is Castor, madam. May I ask your name? I am Regea, rightful Empress of the Calradians. I am Lady of Lycaron and Onira. It's good to meet you. Okay. Well, for the quest, we have to ask her, what is Noretzi's folly? First, she's going to say, which this is what everybody will say at the... Well, the first person you ask will say no matter what. Well, that's what some people call the Great Battle of Pendrick in the year 1077. Well, there we go. There's our first clue. It's about a battle. Emperor Noretzi's led an army accompanied by Crusades and Asurai to fight a coalition of Sergians, Batanians, and Vlandians. Basically, the Empire, Kuzates, and Arsari are the Alliance, versus the Sturgeons, Batanians, and Vlandians as the Axis. It was a disaster for him. He died in it, but the victors didn't fare much better. I see. Something like that, that's a Pyrrhic victory in real life. But can you tell me anything about the Battle of Pendrick? Hey, okay, of course. I did not witness the battle, but my husband, Arenicus, spoke frequently of it. He was one of the Emperor's trusted commanders. He could not stop Noretzis from marching to defeat, but he managed to salvage something from the disaster. 
When the Sturgeons came over our barricades, he managed to lead a group of Nerezi's guardsmen out the back. My husband's small force held together, and were joined by stragglers and fugitives. He described the march back, no food, little water, marching day and night to keep ahead of the enemy's outriders. But they survived, the only organized imperial force to do so. The city was in a state of panic after hearing rumors of what happened. Renikos kept things from descending into chaos. When it came time for the Senate to choose the next emperor, there is no question that it should be him. I loved him before as a man, but that day I learned to love him as something more. What a gift he was to the people of Kelradia. Thank you. Yep, and that's our first clue. It was a battle. The Empire lost. The enemies won. But it sounds like it didn't go so well. Might as well check out what kind of problems she's got. The wars have taken a toll on my men. The bravest often fall first, they say. And fewer and fewer families are willing to let their sons join my banner. But the wars don't stop because I have problems. She's going to want me to recruit some soldiers and probably train them myself. Uh, I'm not interested just yet. But you know, I'm going to keep marching along and looking for recruits. We are not attacking looters. We are not attacking anyone single-handedly in this campaign. This is one for showing off the army. So, I don't, and I don't think Rennie is going to have anything because um, Regea and her daughter Ira have already been through their recruiting. So, I'm going to move up to Lycaron, and I will see you in a bit. Okay, now we get to our first city. Like Karen. Hopefully they'll have some troops. They have one. Two. They have two. Yay. Okay. This is our speed meter. Now, bandits, mainly looters, travel at 4.9. So you want to keep your speed at at least 5.0. You'll see... Hmm. Plus one for... Okay. Plus 1.3. I'm, I'm surprised there's a plus there. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Usually it's a minus, I see. Okay. That's your wages. Daily wages. That's your party size. Your on-hand money. How much the recruitment will cost. We'll take two recruits. Yeah, I was going to say. Minus 1.3, not plus. So 5.6. We're good for now. But we don't have enough troops. Now. To pick up more speed. You buy a horse. Or more than one. Only certain types of horses will do though. Mules. Don't work. Because they're cargo horses. Not riding horses. These ones. Midland palfreys. They'll work. Saddle horses. Yeah. But I think I'm going to trade out my saddle horse for a Midlands Palfrey. That'll give me a little bit more carry capacity. And then I've got a choice. I can either pick up another horse or for now just wait. I think I will wait because I don't want to waste too much money. So. It's not much of an army, but it is a small start. We'll keep exploring... Uh, settlements and picking up more troops. Once we've got enough soldiers, we'll go hunt some bandits. And I'll show you what it's like to actually command. See you in a bit. Okay, here we are in Spatia. And looks like they've got a couple more troops. So, minus two, minus three, up to five. So, Let's see, we've got four soldiers under us. And let's go exploring a bit. See if we can find more troops. Chinopsis, let's see what we've got there. Yard of a trade. Eh, basically I just buy grain from him. I'm not looking for that yet. Okay. There we go. More troops. Eight men. With me on horseback, 
Um, I'm definitely going to be a stronger asset. I'm just trying to gather as many as I can without going below my 5.0. There we go. Need help with brigands? I don't know what kind of brigands. I'll talk and find out. If it's looters, fine. Anything else, I'm not ready for. Aye. So who are you, then? Name is Caster, sir. May I ask your name? Nemo I am Nemos. I own land around here. I speak for many of the people in this village. I'll remember your name. Heard you may need some help with a problem? Yes, we've always had trouble with bandits, but recently we've had a lot more than our share. Those outside of town are infested. A lot of us are afraid to take their goods to market. Some have been murdered. People tell me, I'm getting so desperate. Maybe I'll turn bandit myself. It's bad. So you want me to hunt them down? Hunt them down? Well, sir, you'll never get all those outlaws, but if word gets around that you took down some of the most vicious ones, let's say two bands of brigands, robbing us wouldn't seem so lucrative. We had a rest would go bother someone else. Do you think you can help us? Uh... Even a party of eight? Um... Yeah, I don't... I don't know what a brigand is. I've never heard of that. <laughs> Not in this. So, uh... Well, I need to train, but, um, let's just hold off on this and go hunt for regular bandits. Because he did say I needed, like, well-trained troops for this. Anyway, I'm done recruiting. Let's go hunt. I'll, sh I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. I found a band of looters. 17 of them. So, ouch. But on horseback, I should be able to handle this. Let's go hunt them. Yeah, fight me if you dare. Okay. So, right now, what I'm going to do is keep my guys together in a small group and uh, keep them in one place. I'm going to ride circles around the enemy to distract them and let, like, drips and drabs here or there charge my guys to keep them safe. Okay, that's fine. Yeah! And I'll probably take some pot shots just to annoy them. I'm hoping I can get them distracted enough that... There we go. Yeah. I hit something the first time. Oh, I wonder. I mean, it's a question of how the AI works now. Are they going to be distracted enough by me? Or... Yeah, I'm not really trying to kill anybody. Although, I'll accept kills if I can. I'm just trying to get them to spread out. Okay. Everyone charge. Because the enemies are st scattered enough. some because that's just the nature of this yeah three down also I picked up a couple of extra guys oh uh, yeah see guys the enemies are already routing yep enemies clean my soldiers did most of the work so I should have some upgrades But of course, I want to build up my own character. And this guy is definitely Cav. If I hadn't done that distraction run, then uh, they would have overwhelmed my guys completely. And it's just not cool. Come on! There we go. And let's how many people do I have left? I've still got eight. It looks like... Okay. That's people left. That's kills. Well, I mean kills. More like takedowns. That's upgrades. That's how many people are able to upgrade. So I can upgrade all of them. Yay. We've won. Wait. Where is the enemy? 
Because you might as well hunt them down as much as possible. Yeah, that's fine. And then, you know, that's kills. Wounded. Alright, that's how many of us died. How many of us were wounded. And how many of us ran. And of course, it's the same for the enemy. And that's fine, because now everybody's upgradable. So I just need to wait and... Come on. So I think the next fight's going to be more fun. We'll take prisoners. Okay, yeah, there's only seven of them. So, two infantry. I like to go two infantry for every bowman. So, five infantry and two archers. So, that's start. Expensive, but worth it. Yeah, this game has definitely got some pretty serious load time issues. And if you've been watching uh, watching uh, Ragged, I'm going to do the same thing with uh, weapons that I was doing there. I'm going to um, go smithing. And I'm also watching for good gear. Yeah. There we go. Okay, and then we might as well show off, if I can. Yeah, I'm chasing them. You can see what's going on. You can see uh, how long it can take. Caravans don't matter. Caravans aren't going to chase down enemies. Uh, you can see this is why you want more horses in your party. But I figured I'd show you what it looks like when you've got a real army. Not that this is a real army, this is a small group. But at least it's got some variety to it, you know? Okay. Here's my infantry. Infantry! Okay. Shield, Shield wall. Up! Hey, that's formations shield wall they've got their shields up and you got your bowmen and they're just shooting infantry now charge! I'm gonna have them charge I'm my infantry charge while my bowmen are shooting the enemy yeah and they're all gonna do some damage and I'm definitely gonna chase you Yay! The archers got him. Good. Now, let's see. One infantryman's ready to upgrade to the next tier already. Good. And this is what the early game really looks like. You take a small group of recruits, and you just hurl them at looters, and then... You upgrade them and keep going. And, let's see. Hey, back to Spacha. No. Let's go somewhere we haven't been yet, if I can. That way we can... That way we can trade and maybe pick up more soldiers. Well, Tavern District, Ransom. Uh trade. Might as well pick up more gear. Or trade off the gear that we've got. And... Let's see, there's one, two, three weapons. So, I'm going to want... Okay, they don't have any hardwood here. So I can't make coal anyway. Let's check horses. See if they've got anything for cheap enough. I don't want to lose money on this. It'll be fine. Let's 
So recruit more. Recruit some replacements for the ones we've lost. Here we go, back up to 11. Party, I don't think anybody's ready to upgrade. I think what I'm seeing is, uh... Oh wait, shoot right. Of course, that one infantry man. Okay. Trained infantry man. Actually get... Javelins! It's throwing weapons. So you've got uh, some mainline infantry that also has ranged option. Now... Recruits. I don't want these guys in my infantry line. Because you can see, you know, infantry man on up, they get shields. Recruits, they don't get a shield. You throw them in a shield wall, they're pretty much just eating arrows. So I'm going to put them in a separate group. I'll put them in group 5, skirmisher. I'm going to use them in battle. I'm going to throw them on the flanks and try to whittle down the enemies with them and... Hopefully get more of them upgraded than killed. But... There we go. That's a start. And... I know it looks like I'm like skipping out on a bunch of quests. It's because uh, I know which quests are good for a starter and which ones aren't. Let's see. Hey, village needs draught animals. Like horses, I think? Headman in the village requests a drop animals to place the old ones. Yeah. I and mean, I don't want something that I actually have to spend a lot of money on. But. Yeah, no. It's fine. Okay. So I'm gonna leave you for a bit, and. We will pick up when I find another group to attack. Well, that did not take long at all. Although, yeah, I'll be able to catch them. Forest bandits. If you've been watching um, Ragged Story, then you've already heard of these guys. Archers. I didn't want to face them without a shield wall, and I've got one. So let's go chase them. Alright, 3.5, 5.1. Don't tell me you're going there, too. Okay, well, 10 forest bandits is not necessarily what I want to chase. Oh. Huh. Okay, we'll chase these five. Because <laughs> they're much closer. They were willing to chase me when uh, there were 10 of them. Yeah, you can see this is why exactly why. Okay, I do not want the mountain bandits there too. Ouch. Yeah, they get cavalry. Uh, never mind. You can go for now. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep chasing you. And just try to scare you off. Or, oh fudge. I'm actually not going to run away from these guys for too long. I want to see... I mean... They're all infantry, so it's not too terrible. I guess we'll go face the mountain bandits. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they're not that much worse than us. Although it is a nighttime battle. Okay. Here we go. But you can kind of get a feel for like the early game. And they're all infantry, so I can run around and shoot them. Though I don't know what infantry... Oh shoot, wait. I think I do know what brigands are. Maybe. Footman! Uh... Forward! Yeah. Recruits, Footman! hide. Wait, not one minute. Fire and whirl! Yeah, there Bomber we go. Shield wall. wall. Archers, just, you know, do your job. Wondering how many of them. Okay, well, they're definitely. Okay, there's. 
Brigands, three of them. Hillman, eleven. I know what brigands are. I forgot. They're the second tier of mountain bandits, and they are brutal as far as it goes. They have javelins, too. Oh, wait. I did 102 damage, and you didn't freaking... Okay. There goes my horse. And me. That doesn't mean that we're going to lose, though. But probably. <laughs> I say. I don't think... Uh, well, yeah, no, we're not going to win this. There's no way in hell. Yeah, no, they're going to win. That infantry move is going to do a lot. Whoa. No. Oh, holy shit! I actually won. Yeah, good work. Yeah, there's two of them left. Four of us are... let's see. Looks like there's five of us left. And four people have upgraded. Holy shit. Well, way to go. Obviously, I'm not staging any of this. <laughs> okay, capture the prisoners. We can sell them. Two trained archers. Put them there. Another trained infantryman. Sheesh. That was brutal. I love it. Well... Let's go recover. Whoa. Right, I forgot I don't even have a shield. It would help if I do. Now I've got a shield. And it's got the snake on it. Now let's see what else. Better armor. Actual arm guards. Uh, let's see. And the rest of this, we can just drag it along for sale. And smelting, eventually. And I am going to go rest. Yeah, we're going to run off to Onira and rebuild our numbers. So, the rest scene, it's just a lot of waiting. So, after I trade off some of this stuff 73 pr 73 dinars and prisoners uh, trade after I do this a little bit I'm going to stop the recording until I finish until I finish recovering Let's see 244 there step horse yeah let's go ahead and add some speed to this party eh and we'll keep all this food because that can help us with the uh, stewardship skill, which means even more soldiers. Okay. Oh yeah, hardwood. How much do I need? One, two, three, five. So I need ten because I need five coal. And there we go. As long as I'm in town, it doesn't matter how much excess I'm carrying. Now I'll enter Smithy just to show my caster fans what that's all about. And then I'll rest up. Be fine. There we go. And you just want to smelt. There we go. I don't think... Oh, I might. I might actually... Huh! I might actually have enough for this. To uh, forge a weapon. So let me show it off. This character is going one-handed sword, so that's what I'm going to go with this. This time. If I can. Looks like I can do it. Oh, ha. Huh. One-handed sword. Weapon crafted. Let's call it long arming sword. 
them. And like as you as you do smithing, you actually unlock extra parts for putting on weapons. And gain skills. There we go. Long armoring sword. <laughs> Let's just see what we've made. Either sell it or use it. It's worth 200. Another in length, it's completely inferior to what we've got now. It's not even that much longer. So I guess we'll sell it. But, you know, over time you can just build yourself up with that. I'm going to keep this stuff because I can add it to whatever else I smith and uh, whatever else I smelt down later. But, I mean, that made us some money and it didn't cost us that much. So, there we go. Alright, now I'm going to rest up and I will see you when we're ready to keep going. I rested some and then I decided to go wander around and pick up more soldiers. Um, no recruits here. But Jenin actually gave me, is actually going to give me a quest that I'd like to use, like to follow. Landowner needs manual laborers. Basically, you capture as many bandits as you can. Uh, let's see, Chenin and Sagalina. I? Sorry, I don't think I know you. I'm Castor, and who are you? Chenin, I own land around here. Usual. Um, he has a mine. Unfortunate accident a week back. Two workers were crushed to death. Great shame, but work must go on. No one wants to come back, so, uh, prisoners. Criminals. Yeah, criminals, bandits, for me to do this legally. At least nine of them, really. I mean, you only lost two workers, but... Yep, bring him at least nine. And here's the fun part. I'm not sure if it's an exploit or not. He's willing to pay you ten times more than the market price for each. So, you know, like if a looter's five, he'll pay fifty. Now, the exploit is at least nine of them. The mission is open for thirty days. Once you hit that nine mark, you can just keep going. So, you can leave it open for like 20, 25 days yourself, gather as many prisoners as you want, throw them all to him, and I mean, what, that battle we just won by the skin of our teeth, we netted 73 dinars just from the captives there, that would have been 730 with this guy. So yeah, we're definitely going to take this. I don't think there's any troops I can get here, though. Nope. I mean, this is more of a money quest than a relations quest, unfortunately, but... Okay. Yeah, no, we're not taking on those looters. <laughs> Nobody here likes us, and I think... Yeah, needs help with brigands is a no-go. Because we're still recovering from the last one. Eight looters. <sighs> yeah. I don't have to be in great shape for this. I've got six followers. They'll be willing. They'll be able to do the worst, the heavy lifting. So let's just roll with it. Might as well do another battle, eh? <laughs> okay. Also, there is a good argument to be made for splitting off the uh, infantry, like the trained infantry that have the javelins from the rest of them if you really want to but form a wall okay Put arrows archers on this flank everyone troops soldiers uh, you kind of want to go there probably I me mean, i'm going to go stand here with the archers and look and keep an eye out for the okay there they are And there we go. Eesh. Oh wait, no, I did it, enemy. Good, good. And yeah. they are knocking people out, but they're not even killing us, really. Yeah, I don't I don't think we're gonna lose this one. I mean people fell, but 
Here we go. Yeah, I'm not worried about them. Okay, one guy died. Not pleased about it, but it is what it is. Good. Just early on, you, you can... I mean, I wouldn't sacrifice troops if I were you. Because it can be a bit difficult to recruit them. I mean, you've seen the difficulties I've had. But... As long as you're building up and you're continuing to move forward, you should be fine. Okay, Imperial Recruit. I got two to one, so... Yeah, two archers to one infantry. So, let's go with infantry here. Okay, now we get a split, a choice. Imperial Veteran Archer, which is just, you know, a better regular archer. Or, Imperial Crossbowman. Uh, crossbow is a difference. I think they're a little bit slower to fire, but they hit like a truck when it comes to armor. Uh, I want speed, though. We're not really fighting anything with armor yet. So we're just better off doing that. And then they'll upgrade to, if you want them on foot, Palatine Guard. Or Buchelari for a uh, mounted archer. If you want to go horse archer. Personally, I'll just keep him on foot. Uh, let's see. Are there any captives? I don't... Not yet. Which is a crying shame, but what can you do? I'm going to see about maybe capturing this guy. I know I've been ignoring a lot of the lords because, you know, eventually I'm going to have to talk to one and find out who to talk to next about the quest. But, you also need an army to do anything. So, you might as well just keep fighting. Right now I'm just hunting. Hunting bandits. Hunting whatever comes. There we go. Good work, veteran. Yeah. <sighs> Can you tell I love this game? <laughs> it's definitely got its issues. But it's got its charms, too. There we go, there's a looter. There's a prisoner. He won't pay you on the spot there, you have to keep... You have to settle up all in one shot. But at least we can turn him in. And it's right there. Uh, talk to him. Yeah. About the task, I brought you one man. Yep. And just gotta keep going. And you can already see that sewer chip skill starting to pay off with that little 23 instead of 22. So let's go. And I'll show you how these markers see. One little square there. Uh, landowner needs men. Yep. So, and it tells me how much I'm making off of that, and how many prisoners I've given him so far. But, we're going to keep on fighting, keep building up. I don't think there's anybody... Oh, hey, yeah. Good, good. It's a start. Now we just got to keep... Yeah, let's go back to P Sotai. Oh... You know what's coming next. I need help with brigands, right? And nobody here likes me. <laughs> oh, there's nine of them. There's five of them and nine of us. We're taking them. Yeah, when night falls and you stop being able to see the enemy, it, it does, like, instantly stop you. It sucks, but... Oh, come on. No. Good. I don't think he's gonna follow. He's not. Good. 
sometimes nobles can get involved in fights, and then, you know, if it's a small fight like this, you don't want that, because they'll just, you know, steal all the glory, steal all the kills, not worth it. <laughs> okay. Troops! And I got four of them. Wait, no. Not everybody. Infantry! Just them. Move! Soldiers! These guys can tank. Make a shield wall! Here come the enemies. Give them hell! Everybody advance together. Gonna hang back and annoy the enemies as much as possible. Maybe this time we can do some... Yes, there we go. This time nobody fell on my side. And I'm gonna get my kills. Well, knockout. I'm gonna see if maybe the bow does a better job at that. I mean, it shouldn't, but... And yeah, you can see it. a lot of that's just the character of the reticles. Causing the misses. And I'm just shooting for fun. <laughs> I didn't expect to catch him with those. We'll just ride him down. And Jared. Aw, oh, he's gonna get away. Oh well. Yeah, four kills this time. Bummer, but at least we get some upgrades. More recruits. Another trained infantry. Worth it. Even if we didn't capture him. And heck, maybe I'll gain enough gear to actually um, make another sword. Come on. Oh yeah, we have to hunt him. Yeah. Okay, this sometimes this happens. Sometimes they just offer to surrender. So, uh... I'm gonna say this. Ah, You should have just surrendered. I could have sold you. <laughs> and I know I didn't do any upgrade, because if you don't capture anybody, then the upgrade screen doesn't pop up. So I might as well try and get the uh, Infantry attack! recruits some more training time. Archers! Let's let's tell them not to. Hold fire! Yep. Archers, let's not do this. There we go. The recruits did their job. There was a kill, sadly, but okay. <sighs> oh well. <laughs> More worn leather boots. Let's keep going. Okay, back to Onira. And let's see. Town center, trade. Yeah, you can see. Oh, great. I'm going to be up to 24 now. In my party size. Max party size. Yeah. Make sure there's nothing actually useful, which there isn't going to be. Trade that. Almost there. Okay. I'm going to leave the hardwood off for now. Actually, since I've got enough. Okay, so that'll help. Yeah, this, this is one of the reasons why people suggest going um, horse archer from the very start. is because you can keep your distance and you don't need soldiers. Which, I mean, you're seeing the expense of the soldiers. And what I'm doing here. So I can understand why people would say it, but at the same time it just feels cheap power leveling like that. 
which is why I oftentimes go Batanian when I want to start off solo for a while. Because then, you know, you go on foot, but you've got the horse for backup. Anyway, so I'm going to finish resting, and I will see you after. Alright, so I've rested up almost all the way. I did some upgrading. I'll show you the party lineup in a bit. First, let's see if we can pick up another clue to... Hold on. Where is he? The same location, so I've got to be... Let's try and figure out uh, another clue to where he's probably in the keep. No. So I'm not sure where Obos is. Let's try and find another clue to the Noretti's folly. I'm looking at the clock that the calendar right here. It looks like the current year is 1084. We were told it was in 1077. So it's only been seven years. Uh, right across the lake rats. Lake rats are a uh, mercenary group. But Obos, I think Obos is... Okay. Let's try and catch him, because he's the one I'd really want to talk to. He'd probably know more. Assuming I can catch him. I mean, he's not faster than me, but he's as fast as me. <laughs> so it's a question. I'll probably catch him, because I'll be in a fight. Uh, you know what? Help him. Might as well. I mean, I'm not going to do anything in this fight, but be on the field. And then I can talk to him right after. He probably, he won't be the one to tell me anything more about the battle, but he'll probably tell me who I need to talk to first. And next. In the meantime, might as well check out the Empire in action. <laughs> that was fast. I like the Imperial Troops. They're just so Roman. Yeah. Equites and Heavy Horsemen into Cataphracts. And an Elite Cataphracts, I think. He'll probably have something to say to me. Okay. Let me... Now I can talk to him. Obos, that's close enough. My name is Castor. Obos of the House of Pethros. So he is one of the actual... In fact, Bethers, I think that's Queen Regea's. Yeah, Regea's family. Cool. Okay, can you tell me? Okay, I wasn't there. I knew Lucon had some thoughts about it. Lucon. He's another emperor. He's the emperor of the north. There we go. Yep, ruler of northern empire. Uh... See. Might as well learn something about the world. The northern third of the empire is ruled by Lucon, who represents a long-standing oligarchic trend in imperial politics. It holds that strict adherence to imperial law is the best guarantee that the empire will not become a tyranny. Oligarchs like Lucon also tend to believe that only landowners can have the extensive education, experience in government, and stake in property to really understand and appreciate the law. And thus, the Senate should be supreme. Yeah, fancy words breaks down to he wants to rule the empire. He wants the Senate to rule over the empire and hail the next emperor so that uh, the emperor won't be a monster who breaks his uh, subjects. Of course, that kind of feeds into one of the problems I have with this game, which we'll talk about at a later time. So, I guess, our next lead is to go into the north. And we'll, we'll move there, and we'll keep doing battles and whatnot. But I think that is enough for now. Uh, this has been fun to record. I hope you have as much fun watching, and I will see you one moment, actually current party 
There's me. There's two veteran archers, one trained infantryman, three regular infantrymen, and two recruits. Did some upgrading. Uh. Yep, Rome. Gotta love it. Okay. That's enough for now, everybody. Have a wonderful time, and I will see you next episode. Bye.